guys, welcome to another year of awfulness. So we're going to be doing pretty much what we did was year of the full moon. Just now we're doing year of the empire, which... Uh, this is the first I've heard of that. So. Yeah, so surprise. Um, so year of the empire is we're going to be talking about empire international pictures that Charles Band ran before... I don't even know what that is. ...full moon. Well, you know what? We're doing a whole yearly review series, so you will learn what it is. And so will you guys, because I am an expert when it comes to all this stuff. For some um, reason. Somehow. So Actually, it's... So it's it was his company before Full Moon, right? Yes. So he was making movies, like, again, like, in the early 80s and I think in the late 70s as well. And then he started Ooh, making... How old is he? He's getting up there. He's I mean, been around a while. He's not he like, like Roger Corman age, but, like... I thought he was in his, like, 50s. I, I feel like he's a lot older than that. He really looks good. <laughs> from what, yeah. the more recent stuff. I've yeah, seen. we've seen some So if you're watching stuff. this, you look good. Yeah, way to go, Charles Band. Um, so, he was making some movies before then, then they made their own company, and they, uh... I'll just say right off the bat, they put out like a B, some B-level horror classics and mainly C-level stuff. However, they did put out one movie that would be considered like an A-list horror movie, and it's called Reanimator. Now, I don't think I've ever seen that. That's did we ever watch that? We'll know. see. I don't. Th I don't think I have, and I think that's a movie that's always been on my list, and I've it's never on my shirt, and I've never actually seen it. Like so. Reanimator is a huge cl classic. It's one of the best zombie movies of all time, and Empire put it out. So that's their like weird to fame. Because we used to be so into zombie movies. Like before, we were into slasher movies. We were into zombie movies. And I don't know why. I have, we I don't know why we never watched that. That's kind of well. Maybe one day we'll. It, it, I think it was on our net like list on Netflix mm -hmm. for like four years. I don't think it's on Netflix. Anymore. Probably not anymore. I think is that it was like Shutter. Maybe. I don't know. Well, anyways, we're digressing. We're talking about Reanimator. So. With Empire Pictures, they put out some great stuff. It started in 1983, and then they Oof. put out mainly horror stuff, sci-fi stuff, and really genre pictures of that sort. And then they went until, I believe, 1988 is when they went bankrupt because of some decisions. And some of their movies that they had already made came out. Do you like, know what the decisions years. were? Um, they put out movies that weren't making the money that they... <laughs> so they're like, hey, we'll make a... He's like, I'll make another company, and we won't make a lot of money, but it's okay, because yeah. it's... Uh, and also, and we'll talk about this in a moment, but there's some series from Empire Pictures that he then made sequels for while he did um, Full Moon Pictures. Was there ever any uh, rights issues with that, or did, um, since he owned the... Mostly not. There are some Empire Pictures that they do not own the rights to anymore. So, like, those, they can't re-release on the Full Moon Direct website. And Oh, yeah, they have their own streaming server. I keep yeah, so those about. they can't, but there are some that they do, and that. then there's some that they have since... Their streaming service for a... Uh, I know this is not a full moon, but full moon streaming is free. I don't know if we are actually touched on their streaming service. In the full moon streaming? We've talked about it because I had to get it in order to watch Blade the Iron Cross. Um, I definitely watched a get few it. things on there. It's very cheap and they it. give you a lot of free DVDs if you sign up. That's the only reason he does it. Yes, and we're I'm not assuming... endorsed by this whatsoever. No, if you want to endorse us. Please do. But, uh, so with Empire, there's no, like, streaming or anything with Empire. It's no, but there's a mo lot of... Mostly that's on full moon. Yeah, so I would so, say the, the main ones that if you, you like. See, some of the stuff we talk Except about. Reanimator. Get the streaming service for Full Moon. You might be able yeah. to. Yeah. You might get some good Empire pictures in there. Um, and Endorse we will us. be going through this box set that, that I got, which is just a bunch of Empire that's a, pictures. That's a, that's that's a, a hefty big, box set. Big box set. I didn't, I didn't know what I was getting myself you guys into. See it in a moment. Um, it's a big box set. Oh, and gosh. it comes with a bunch of stuff that Shout Factory put out that were Empire pictures related. Uh, and also, there's this awesome book that I paid a lot of money for called. Empire, the Ma uh, Empire like a, of the Bees, uh, the Mad oh, Movie for World of Charles Band. Yeah, you can see. You see like, what he did did there. he read all that? No, I'm just reading it, entry okay. or entry for whatever movies we're reviewing. Oh, that makes sense. Um, there's a lot more in this book than what we're going to be reviewing. It's just going to be 24. I feel like this the year. box set's probably their what they consider their, their best. best ones. Yeah, more so, or less. I'm. You know what? We'll go through it and look at it. Um, we'll just give you a not even a brief rundown. We'll just show you what they look like and see if they're any good. Um, now. The order of the box set is different than the order we're going to be doing our reviews. I'm basing it off of the timeline from this book. So there might be some times where a movie might have came out before, but it was in production before the other one. Anyways, I'm actually you'll looking see forward to because the way you put with Empire, it's better quality than um, yes Full Moon. And I actually liked a lot of what Full Moon did. They did stuff that, especially their earlier stuff, that's closer to mm -hmm. the inception of this of Empire. I like their effects. Their effects were good. And Definitely that was on a lesser stuff. budget. Most of their budget probably did yeah. go to the effects. But like they did a lot of, I think they did claymation. 
At yeah, one. there was a lot of stop motion. They did a lot of stop motion, which love it or hate it, I love stop it's motion. Great to watch. I love watching like well, especially the guy you know, who did a lot of their stop motion, like that he did a lot of these movies okay. as well in Empire. Um, I'm actually kind of looking forward. Yeah, to and that. the the big difference is in early Full Moon they had like a bunch of. They had like financing from a big studio, so they were able to, even though they're direct to VHS at the time, put out some like Back hefty budgets. Um, Empire Pictures, on the other hand, that was like mainly like it wasn't even in like direct to VHS. They went into theaters, sometimes yeah. very limited, but like Reanimated, for example, huge box office. Hit. That's a, that's a, like that's a movie I heard of when I first yeah. got into horror movies. So I know, I I know it's a kind of like a quintessential. It's probably one of the few like quintessential horror movies I've seen. And it's not in the box set. Uh, we're watching now, it right now. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, no we'll idea. go through the box set right now. This is going to be news to me. I have, He's just so, like... First off... All he said to me was like, Hey, do you want to do a uh, do a thing like the uh, we did with Full moon, moon, but with this other company he did? I'm like, okay. Why and, not? Uh, and I didn't <laughs> think it was going to be quite this. as uh, heavy as... Uh, Very uh, expensive, too. Is it Long out of print. Uh, more, it was not, it was more expensive than so the couple messages. So this, uh, this whole, like, co like, collection is out of print? Yes. There was only 600 made, and I had to get it off eBay. Signed by Charles Bam. Oh, Thank that's pretty that. cool, though. Yeah. And a good list of all the movies. Do, um, are you willing to state on camera how much you paid for this? I don't remember. I wanted to block out the exact uh, So it was a lot. It's it was probably a, not the most. It was a lot. Let's just say I've seen him buy stuff for, exo like, you could almost buy a car, yeah. Uh, you a crappy car, mind you, but you could almost buy a car. Some of the money he's dropped on a single DVD before. Well, so. I will be reviewing that movie, which will not be named. It's a surprise for my the February release, um, but it's uh, it was a lot of money I spent for probably like one or two fans, and I'm being yeah. generous. All right, so first up is actually one movie that's on two separate discs. It's called Why is that? Metal Storm. That sounds so the strange. destruction of Jared Sin. I have no idea what this is even about, but that is like the best name I've ever heard. I think it's kind of like Star Wars meets Mad Max. There's a little bit of like sword and sorcery. Star Wars there. meets Mad Max. Is, you know, you know, just just a dash of sword and sorcery. That's what I was getting from the vibe from the trailer. Um, have you seen any of these movies? Um, there is only... Because I'm pumped for this I think one, there's three actually. I've seen. I've not That's seen this before. That is the best name I've ever um, heard. So, we'll, this, we're actually going to be watching it now and filming a review. Oh, it's one in 3D January. and one not in 3D? Yes, there's also a 3D version because it was the only one in Empire that was released in 3D. Um, when did it this was, come out? This movie would have been 1983. So, back when like 3D kind of got... Because I know in the 50s, 3D was kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. I know in the 80s, like it this, got big again. We will a, talk about how, why this was 3D and why it was marketed this way when we get to the review because okay. there was actually a reason because there was an 80s resurgence. I because like I remember uh what when did uh that uh Friday the 13th come out that was in 3D? Around like what 1982? It's got to be around within a year or two. Yeah. And that was hilarious because they're like pulling up a poll like 3D. Oh, that was a bad movie. So I'm, I would love this. I I don't think we're watching that now, mm -hmm. but. I would love to watch that at some point and get the uh because we don't have a 3d tv to do you need a 3d tv it's not one set. oh so it's I not one so. with the glasses i think so um sadly we all miss those uh flimsy cardboard glasses you those are the days back, and i'm digressing but yeah. i remember we saw avatar for the first time and they made it all clean and they had like the fancy glasses and i'm just like oh my god this is awesome. chain 3d forever I've done. no and one had to the, the coolest the 3d and i just remember the movie that i remembered 3d before that what was the one that you remembered most? For? Um, I was about to say Shark Boy and Lava Girl, but probably Spy Kids Three. That's 3D the one. Game over. <laughs> th that was the one that always stuck out, and it was just like not 3D, not 3D. Thirty minutes later, 3D, and then, <laughs> and then like obviously. So this one's probably if it's neither. 3D TVs aren't a freaking thing anymore, really. No. People don't like. I would love it's to a see. Deadpool, man. It's a I'm kind of curious. I kind of want to buy one. I'm sure I could find one decently cheap. On like eBay, that might be worth it at some point just to do that and buy a bunch of 3D stuff. So let's uh, what's uh, next? All right, so after Metal Storm, we got two a pack on this one. It's the Eliminators, which looks like a man is half man, half robot. I guess he's a is cyborg. There a, is there a reason? I see like a Asian man with a sword. Uh, it also looks spacey. What year did uh, RoboCop come out? 
Might have been around this time. He looks like RoboCop. Um, there's also something called the Dungeon Master, which I have not seen, but I do know a lot about it. Is there it. a reason this one has two on it and all the it's, others? Here's one thing I don't like about this collection. It is not a bunch of exclusive Blu-rays. They took a bunch of stuff that was released already on other Shout Factory DVDs and Blu-rays and then just put it in new covers. So this is just like a lazy repackaging of a same one. Money. Yep. So there was already a DVD was already that two had together. a two and they're just like... Yep. Hey, we're both Empire, let's nah. put them together. But are any of the other ones like that? Or is this the only one? I'll show you. There's, okay. a, very, there's a much more sh stupid one than this. Okay. Because these are at least both Empire pictures. But anyways, Dungeon Master, it looks like kind of like a sci-fi take on Dungeons and Dragons a bit. Um, don't know much about it, but it did... Uh, <laughs> but we will. We will figure out a lot. Um, now here's one I have seen, and you've seen it, you probably don't remember. Ghoulies! Ghoulies 1 and 2. I could... I remember... Aren't they in like a weird house in the first one? Yes. I remember watching it, and I, I have no memory. To be it. fair, I think we watched it with our friend, and I think I, I, I think I said something along the lines of, "This is like the most retarded thing I've ever seen." So, I, I think you've seen the second one. I have not seen Ghoulies. Okay, too. I wasn't sure. I didn't really you, like Ghoulies one when I saw it. Don't I have the Ghoulies? I have. There's four, four, four. Because the, the Ghoulies, four Ghoulies movies. Gremlins was like you know Gremlins. Yeah. And then there was like Ghoulies, and there was another Chris. one. We've I think I have. Critters. I think I have critters. I think you was, have one of the Ghoulie sequels. I think I do. Ghoulies four. I think I bought a DVD that had Ghoulies like four on it, and he got. He's just like, now I gotta buy all the rest. So yeah, have. and I'm like, why? Because I had to. Because we needed because to watch. I used, it. I used to remember watching the first one, and I think it could have been Critters that I'm remembering. It could have been. They run together, and I. Make, I have shown you Critters. Maybe I fell asleep, too. But I think I said along the lines of this thing is the most retarded thing. I'm, I think it was like. It's like gremlins, but stupid. Yeah. And we've also seen Hobgoblins. That was not a good one at all. Do you remember seeing that? Did we ever finish Hobgoblins? No, we didn't. <laughs> it was bad. We rented it from Blockbuster. That ages us a little bit. Yeah. I miss Blockbuster so much. But we rented it from Blockbuster, and we got like, probably like four-fifth of the way through, and then it just stopped, and we're kind of like, Ray, 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 you got the enough. gist. Of That's good enough. I'm curious. I because I think we watched it was in high school mm -hmm. and we've been out of high school a while, which makes me feel bold. I've been out of college for a while. I don't like that either. So I'll rewatch it, and I'm not going to judge it until we watch yep. it. Well, and it also Ghoulies two two was also released as a. Are Empire we watching Pictures. all the Ghoulies or just the Ghoulies? On um, for the sake of just this Empire Pictures thing, we're just doing Ghoulies one and two. Maybe However, we'll do a supplemental do a, down the road. Exactly. I uh, maybe we will. You'll see if you'll get comment, a Ghoulies three and comment. Four. If you want to see uh, more ghoulies, because because we will watch it, because we, we will we will do it for our one fan or two fan that may be out there. We have one fan. Come on, be realistic. And I, 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 I we'll do anything for you. Yes, we will. Do you want a foot rub? Okay, we have good foot rubs. <laughs> so, anyways, we digressed again. Uh, ghoulies one and two happen. were both released in Empire Pictures, and I think it's their only sequel that they got like officially released. Um, and it's also I, I definitely can. am curious about that yeah. if I'm rewatching it because. Now, another series that has had even more sequels, however, all of them released by Full Moon Pictures, oh. was Trancers, which Ooh. is a sci-fi movie and definitely like B-level classic, I would say. You've seen Trancers, right? Yes, I've seen all the Trancer movies, and maybe if you guys want to do the sequels, I think you've been telling we'll do me to watch them because it's a good movie. She, she, I remember right Sean, Trancers. Sean, he classic. told me that he liked it, so that's a movie that I met. I think we were. About, I wanted to watch it at one point, and you're like. I have this, we might do a review, so we'll wait. Yeah. So that's probably and better. the reason is the main actor, Tim Thomerson, do you remember him from Dollman? Tim Thomerson, yeah. best name Good guy. <laughs> so anyways, and this is Transfers. There was a bunch of sequels, all released in Full Moon Pictures, but we will be reviewing the first Transfers movie. All right. Transfers. All right, so this one is also kind of a B-level classic, but it's probably a little less known. It's called Crawl Space, and it stars... Klaus Kinski, who is probably one of the most controversial actors of all time. Why is he controversial? Um, he was extremely hard to work with. He had mental breakdowns in movies. And so he's apparently, a very creepy guy. unless you're like an A-list, if you're an A-list actor, you could be like that, and everyone's like, "Oh, he's just a, you know, that's just him. That's like his creative experience." I have never heard of this going in. Like, for the most part, mm -hmm. I, we went into the. Uh, I saw a few of the. Uh, I saw Puppet Masters, obviously, and I mm. saw, I think, a few, maybe one or two of the others. 
I'm going into this almost blind. Yeah. I have no idea what I'm getting into. This, yeah, this one's like a pretty much a straight up horror movie. I think it's kind of like a much more heavy hitting one than instead of like that fun horror comedy we see a lot of with Full Moon. Which um, I get it. That's kind of uh, what we do when we yeah. make our movies. I like horror. Um, but yeah. I have heard great things about this. I know when we first got into movies. Pretty cl good claustrophobic thriller. I'm like, we can't do comedy. We're not funny. And then our horror movies weren't supposed to be comedic, and then we just leaned up. And then just leaned right we, we, into got, it. we got a taste, and all of a sudden we're just like, we're just going to lean into this. All right, next up is also another B-level classic, From Beyond. The same creative team that made Reanimator teamed up again for another H.P. Lovecraft adaptation. I have seen this one. It's good. It's not as good as Reanimator, but we will do a much more in-depth like review a later. good drinking game is going to be Sean, when Sean says B-level classic. Yeah. Take a shot. Well, um, I can tell you most of the ones we're about to be talking about in a second are not. Um, for example, Terror Vision. I haven't heard good things about it. I don't this. even know what that is. Um, what exactly is know. a Terror Vision? We're going to find out. Is it out. a television of terror? We're going to find out. Oh, here's, here's a great one. Troll. Oh, I've heard things. The original Troll. I've heard things. This I think I've heard not... worse things from their yeah. sequels. This is not the one you're thinking of, but it is... Oh my troll. god, is that... That's the sequel. Is that yeah. the second one or third one? So, um, second one. And we, you know what, if you guys want to do a supplementary <coughs> of all the troll sequels past two, I would be willing to do that. It I is a it. rabbit hole that I went down and bought all the DVDs I really for enjoy I doing reviews on really crappy horror mm -hmm. movies. Like, these are probably not going to be, like, super crappy, but I enjoy the really crappy ones because yeah. they're so bad, they're fun. And that's what I enjoy because, like, if it's just mildly bad, it's almost not worth watching. But if it's so bad, it's fun. I don't. Mm. Did uh, Empire put out the sequels or? Well, Empire did not put out any sequels to Troll. However, this Blu-ray, because it's a repackaging of an old Shout Factory, it comes with Troll Two on it. So because does it, not have it does it have it on the cover? It says full length feature Troll Two as a bonus. So, feature. so it's like it's like Troll, 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 and then in a special feature, troll. you know, we got a whole other movie on here and. Troll 2 is the more famous one, I would say. And it's anyways, so bad. Yeah, because it's so bad. So, because it's part of this box set, we will be reviewing Troll 2, even though it's technically not Empire Pictures. That's the one I know a little bit about, here. and I know it's going to be fun. And along those lines, there is a great documentary about the failure that is Troll 2, and we'll be reviewing that as well. Have we seen Troll? Just to get to... we've I've seen Troll, you have not. What Actually, am I seeing? yeah, you have seen Troll. I was going to say, I, I've seen Troll. Okay, no, I've seen this. It wasn't too bad. Yeah. It was all right. Again, it was in high school, and I was the R word at the time, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Um, so right. we reviewing both Troll One and Two. I'm along with the documentary, it is a good documentary. We'll get to it. Because like, and if you guys want to do a supplemental of all the other Troll it was sequels fun. and whatnot, I don't know if it was a good movie, but it was fun. I remember. Definitely. It kind of felt like a Goonies esque horror movie. It was pretty good. Yeah. But you know, we'll watch it again and find out. It could, um, this it, could, is, it could be horrible, and I'm just remembering weird. This might be like a CLO classic called Dolls. It was Take a shot, of, that counts. It was kind of like the Dolls, the precursor to Puppet Master. In I mean, this movie was like, oh my god, uh, yeah. this was fun. This is the beginning of Full Moon and Charles Band's obsession with dolls and. And puppets. I would say, for the most part, I love, I love Puppet Master. So. Yeah, they're good. I mean, um, Prison. I actually haven't heard too many. Great things about it, but it does have some pretty big kinda, names. In I it. actually kind of like how it says, uh, like on the back, where how it, they have prison written out. That's kind of yeah. cool. Looks um, like a like a metal band. To it does actually. It sounds like a metal prison, band. like um, an '80s like hair, not hair metal. Like there's some big names on here. Kane Hodder is apparently in it. I don't know if you know who to Tommy Tiny Lister is. He's this really sounds big familiar. black guy who you've seen in a lot of movies. Very intimidating. And it's Viggo Mortensen, who played Aragon in Lord of the Rings. Okay, what else has he been in besides Lord of the Rings? Besides uh, this? Hildago. Thank that was a good movie. Much. Actually, great movie. I will rewatch. I've been meaning to rewatch. I haven't watched and that History since... of Violence. I haven't watched that. All right, he's on the cover of that. I haven't watched Hildago. Like, we're debuting a lot. You know, we're gonna review Hidalgo instead of all of this. A whole year dedicated really to We only do Hidalgo. horror movie and science fiction, and we just have Hildago. <laughs> it becomes our most viewed one. You know, but that was one of my favorite movies growing up. I I might watch it and review it just so we have a random Hidalgo. <laughs> Alright, so next one is a two double feature, but it also is both, again, two Empire Picture ones. One Cellar Dweller, which I've always wanted to see. I love that see. name, Cellar exactly. Dweller. The name sounds so cool, but it probably doesn't look it's up It's like that guy that just... You know, plays on his computer on stop all day. Yeah, we know a couple. And then, of like, movies. when the door opens, it's just like. 
Um, and also Catacombs, which Ooh. is also known as Curse 4. And if you want us to review all oh, the God. other Curse movies, oh, God. Huge Rabbit Hole. It's one of those that's like got a name and then it's like, oh, it's also known as something 4. Huge Rabbit Hole if you guys want us to go down. Did we, ever, we didn't do it. reviews on zombies. The zombie franchise. Not yet, but man. I think we should. That's like a two year worth of stuff. Yeah, might uh, anyways, to watch. Catacombs and Cell If you guys want to see us review the zombie series, I'm more than willing to. Maybe next year. That will take up a year. You yeah. know what? We're always looking more than for 24 stuff. reviews. Oh, this is going to be 24 reviews. I don't think I said that. Counting this one. Oh, how much was uh, Puppet Master? Like 27 or 28. Oh, God, it's close. Less that one took a little Master. longer because we had COVID. Yeah. At the beginning of COVID, we're like, we can't see each other. No, like, who cares? We should have Skyped and did a weird <laughs> one. That would have been weird. Um... This oh, is a movie called cool. Ghost Town. I actually haven't heard too many great things about it. And I say that because I once read a review of this box set and this was at the bottom. Um, but, Ghost Town. I like the cover. Yeah, the cover I will good. give it to them. Their covers were pretty The cool. covers are good. Same with, like, a puppet mat. Like, Full Moon's covers are good, too. Mm -hmm. So, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give them. I don't know what that is, but that looks awesome. Next up is Robo Jocks. What, is, Which is, what does that even mean? I don't know. But <laughs> Don't make of, me get my Robo Jocks. It's weird because Full Moon then went and made two other like giant robot stop motion. Oh, so it's a similar like like that. So I like, like I like the stop motion Transformers. Transformers robots in disguise. Um, also, this is an interesting one right here. This is called Arena, and it's a DVD despite being in a Blu-ray case. It's because they couldn't lazy find, exactly. They couldn't find the because original. And it's um, also, they didn't want to put it in a DVD case because it wouldn't yeah, fit wouldn't in here. Fit. Um, and that's why they put it in Blu-ray, even though it's clearly DVD. Now, the reason for it, and we'll get to it when we actually get that's to the review, is that they couldn't find like the original negatives for it, so they couldn't remaster it in HD, so they didn't that's make, awkward. make a Blu-ray. They couldn't yeah. make a Blu-ray of it, or it would have been pointless. See, the problem with that is, at this point, that means they're going to be re-releasing it all, already off a copy. Yeah. And the so the quality dips when you do that. Like every time you make with a picture or a video, every time you do a copy of it, mm -hmm. uh, that's why they always want to go back to the original, uh, like uh, usually film of it yeah. typically. Ideally, unless newer movie nowadays are a lot of them done digitally, but like it's so good. That I would always. Matter. I wonder if there's a way they could shoot stuff where it's digital and film at the same time. Probably. That would. I'm sure they do because then you have a backup too. Yeah. What do you think of Arena? Arena? I like the cover. It's like, I have no idea what's going on. Space Rocky! Maybe, I don't know, that's what it looks like. It's, it's like, an intergalactic boxing man. It's got, what's that guy from uh, Suicide Squad, the shark? Ah, uh, uh, King Shark. It looks like King Shark. <laughs> it looks like a guy's box of King Shark on the cover. Um, also, again, this is just a repackaging of a old DVD, and it's even a twofer of Eliminators, which is already on here, so it's just very lazy packaging. That's yeah, my I thought one I said four point. movies. Um, yes, because this came in a collection that had two discs, and it's just one disc from it. Again, very lazy. They, they couldn't just, like, give it a new cover for it? No, they literally just took the old one and just put it in here. It's very lazy. You guys lose some cool me. points on that. I'm um, sorry. So we're also doing another movie to help us get to, like, 24 reviews, which is two a month. Just because yeah. it's a good even number. That's what I love. Uh, for... Terrorvision. It was also again a two movie release of some other one that they put out years ago of a movie called Terrorvision, and then along was The Video Dead, which I I've, I've watched on YouTube. It kind of sucked, but and it's not Empire Pictures in the slightest. But because it it's packaged, in this box set, it was originally packaged together, yeah. and that's the only reason. Yeah. Wow. So now we got a review. Amazing. It's in here. Oh. But all these, though, are, are they, like, remasters? All these would be Blu-ray remasters. Okay. So they should look good. Now, all of that stuff, we're watching Troll 2 along with this box set, the video dead, the documentary for Troll 2, Kirk and Holmes. we're going to also do a, a ranking at the end of all these movies. Which is hard, because essentially by that time, it's been 12 months. Yeah. And... <laughs> I'm going to forget all And that. then it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. It won't be as bad as Puppet Master because when you have that many Puppet Masters, they yeah. all run together. These are going to be the stage like, You get like the first three, and it's like, and then, and it's actually, like, then it's like, okay, you got the last few, and they all run together. Yeah. So it's like, what, what's going now, on? With these movies, it's also good because we're not just like watching straight up horror movies like we do as Year of the Full Moon. We're going to get some variety. There's sci fi in here. and I've actually been wanting to do a, some review on sci fi, mm -hmm. more sci fi reviews. Yeah. I would even take that on just myself because I enjoy yeah, it. Bring it. I got a camera for you. Now, I've been wanting to do like Star Wars because I have a lot to say. All of these reviews that we're doing that I just mentioned before, that would take us to 23 reviews. So how are we going to get to 24? Their best movie. Watching Reanimator. Yeah. 
So even though it's not part of this box set, you cannot have a Empire Pictures review series without Reanimator because it's their biggest one. <laughs> um, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. We can also review. Is that gonna be the last one? Um, not the quite okay. the last one. Um, now also. If you guys are interested, we can review like the sequels in a supplemental because there's. I highly doubt we're gonna get any comments on this, no. but if we're probably gonna any... do it anyways. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're gonna probably be like, you know what? We're watching. It's this. a wait until we get you to Troll Three though. How many movies are called Troll Three, and then how that branches out? That's why I want to do zombie. That's why I want to do zombie because it's like. It's like, it's like, okay, it's like, it's like, it's like, okay, okay, we could kind of, it's kind of confusing, but you know, we got, we got, and then it's just like. Do -do, and then it turns into a bush, and it's, it's just, bush. And, and it's just like, bush. and it's like, what just happened? But I had so much fun doing those. Yeah, like watching those. movies are good movies. So I'm um, looking forward to this because, yeah, I think it'll be a good uh, bunch of. Uh, we have a lot of diversity. Yeah. So real quick, which one of these, including all the ones I mentioned that are not here, are you most excited to watch? Let's not count Reanimator. Okay, not counting Reanimator because we it. it's the best. That's what I've been wanting to watch, and I think we were going at one point. You're mm -hmm. like, "Yeah, well, I got this." We're just gonna review it. Um, some good ones here. Oh, uh, Metal Storm. Metal Storm. Just because of the name. Just because of the name. All right, Metal Storm for Shane. I, because I have seen some of these. I've seen Transfers, which would have been the one I wanted to see. I'm probably most excited for Crawl Space, because I have not seen that, and it looks like it could be good, or maybe it'll suck. Who knows? We'll find out together. We will let you know. <laughs> um, so, I hope you guys are excited for this year of the Empire that we're about to do, and all these supplementals we might do as well, because by the time we get to the end, we're, we're just hoping one of these catch on and we get people, so. Please watch our stuff. Please. <laughs> <laughs> We're pitiful. In the arms of an angel. Oh, God.